regular people, regular shit. Check us out before you buy it. Hello, and welcome to our regular review of the Camelback Eddie water bottle. So I bought this about a year ago at a little known and now defunct Canadian retailer that went by the name Target. They were French. I'm a bit of a water bottle fiend. I probably buy two to three a year. I usually lose them. Sometimes I break them. Uh, this one I've held on to to make an example of. It's a piece of shit. You can't say that that early. First question, does it work as advertised? Technically, it holds water, so yes. But let's look at what we've got here. It's a water bottle. So it has this little rubbery bit right here, which looks like it's meant for a carabiner uh, because you're definitely a rock climbing enthusiast sourcing your equipment from only the finest retailer. This little bit is useless to you. So before I go on, um, I clearly knew what I was getting into here. I was at the store with Talia. I picked it up. I said, oh, this looks like a good water bottle. I probably said that. I had to burp it. I specifically went to buy a water bottle. We got to that section. There was a plethora of options available. I chose this one. I looked it up and down. I thought, that looks like a fine water bottle. That looks like it's worth $22. Talia didn't say anything because she's useless. <sighs> it's the lid. It's a stupid, awful lid, which I, at the time, thought was a great idea. It's got this whole little spout thing going on. Um, and I thought, perfect. When I'm riding my bike, I don't spill on myself. Good. Nice change of pace. Does this look attractive to anyone? Let's push that aside for a minute. When I bought this, I was working in an office, regular Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4.30 kind of job. If you worked in an office environment, you know that there's nothing that office workers enjoy more than heckling the piss out of each other. So in I come with this water bottle, I'm using it. It already looks suspicious. And the little dick thing starts popping up all on its own. You can't make this up. Look at this. Oh, it's stuck there. It doesn't stick though. It comes back. It always comes back. This thing is like a teenager at his first co-ed pool party. Not staying down. No refractory period even. Just bounces back for more. Camelback, why did you make this? Why did you make this? There's no need. No one needs this in their life, but I did. I paid $22 to have this in my life. Thank you. Everyone started calling it my dick bottle. Next criteria, is it easy to use? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's easy. Oh, it's so easy. Great. On price, this is easily the worst $22 I have ever spent, ever. Next category is necessity. Uh, of course, this is not necessary for anyone. I will not ever drink water out of this ever, 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 ever again, ever. Overall, I would give this dick bottle one dick out of five, and that's because technically it does hold water, which is the sole purpose of a water bottle. I would not buy this for myself. Obviously, I wouldn't buy it for anyone that I know, at least if I like them. Um, in fact, the only time I would purchase this again and give Camelback the satisfaction of taking my money just one more time is to buy it as a secret Santa office gift. I am a firm proponent of uh, giggling at work wasn't worth my $22 when I bought for myself. Were I buying this to laugh at someone else though? 22 bucks well spent. Nothing says Christmas like giving someone a gift that's going to make them miserable. And this thing's a guarantee. Tally, why did you let me buy this thing? Like you were there. You could have prevented this. Why? Because you're a grown ass man who can make your own decisions. Not true. Clearly that is not true. Don't buy this. Unless you're a dick. <laughs>